Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impressions review of the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. So I picked this up in the Sephora VIB sale, which was like two weeks ago, and I've had it sitting on my makeup stand ready for this video. I'm so excited to try this foundation. I've heard loads and loads of good things about it. Um, I've heard it's really good for all skin types. So I really wanted to give it a try on my kind of dehydrated combination skin and see how it holds up. Now let me just read what the Kat Von D website says about this foundation. Okay, Locket Foundation rocks so hard. Creamy and pigmented is the only long wear liquid formula we can count on to create a perfect canvas. One little pump is all it takes to even out discoloration, stop shine and hide blemishes. The coverage is amazing whether you apply with a brush or a sponge and it's so long wear we can go a full 24 hours without touching up or reapplying. The velvety matte finish will stay flawless through hell or high water. Science nerds, pay attention. Our powerful portion is loaded with proprietary pigments, plus an exclusive blend of siliconic elastomers and siliconic esters, which bind the formula so your foundation stays fade free and transfer proof. Lock it, you always have us looking and feeling like a total goddess. The bottle features an innovative airless chamber design that prevents contamination and maintains its rich consistency. It means you get a fresh, precise, measured dose with every pump. That sounds like the best foundation in the whole entire world, so we'll see. Now I got the shade Light 42, which I think is the lightest shade because I am so pale at the moment. So I'm just gonna open the box. So this is it here. So that's what she means by that airtight chamber. I don't know if you can see it. So there's a bottle inside a bottle and there's a obviously an airtight space between. Um, okay, so it's got... Okay, so it's a pump system, which is amazing. I love pumps. Oh. All right, so let's have a little look at this foundation. Okay, it's super creamy, which I love. It doesn't feel like very dry at all. It's very, very creamy very pale maybe it's even a little bit too pale but we'll see we'll see great coverage you can see it there on my hand it's like full coverage yeah it's definitely setting but it's not going like a dry matte it's almost like a velvety finish and you can feel that like set it's like double wear like the Estee Lauder double wear you can feel it like setting so yeah so let's give it a try feels amazing so we'll see all right I'm gonna prime my skin as usual I always use the same primers when I'm testing a foundation because this is what I prime my skin with every day. So if it works with these, then happy days. So my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer and my Benefit Professional. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on with a damp beauty blender and see how it goes. So it says you can use brush or sponge. So I'm gonna use my sponge as per usual. So I'm gonna do two pumps and see how that goes. Damn, that's pale. Holy crap. Maybe a little too pale. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is so pale. I didn't think it was that pale. Okay, guys. So that was a total, total... Feel. I had no idea that was going to be so light. Anyway, I have just run to Sephora and I got the one of the girls to color match me and I told her what I was doing and she said, yes, the 4-2 light is a neutral undertone, white as sheep. White as white. Anyway, so she has gave me 4-5 light and she was telling me this is similar but it's just a little bit warmer so this is it here so let's have a look hopefully this is a bit better she tested a little bit on my jawline and it looked good so i'm just gonna pump some out okay that looks a little bit better so let's just reprime because i haven't i cleansed that off and i didn't prime so i'm just gonna prime again just using those same two primers luckily my local sephora is like 15 minutes away so 
very handy I did buy that foundation online and because I'm so pale usually I'm the lightest color in all foundations so I just went for the lightest color I didn't realize that Kat Von D actually accommodates for very very white people so lesson learned but it's not a total bust because that is going to make a great Halloween foundation if it lasts as well as it claims it does it's going to be amazing for costume makeup so I'll definitely be giving it a try for that now the girl in Sephora also said that she likes to put it on with like a buffing brush. So I'm gonna do half with my Sigma F80 flat Kabuki brush. I'll do the other half with the sponge. So I'm gonna do this half with the sponge. Please don't be as pale, that was crazy. I've never seen a foundation that pale before. Okay, that's a lot better. It's still pale pale as hell but it's a lot better it's actually really wearable it's going to turn, turn down all my pigment because it's full coverage holy moly but it's not i don't look a ghost anymore which is great That is a full coverage foundation. I've put like hardly any on. Like look at all that I've got left. Like that's amazing. That color, I'm actually, like it looks super pale. Don't get me wrong, but it blends really well with my neck. I actually really like that. And the formula is beautiful. Like it's very, very creamy. Like you can feel that it's going to set, but it doesn't go on, doesn't feel dry, like it's just very like creamy, I love that and that's amazing, like you cannot see my skin, like that is full coverage foundation, wow, that's very impressive, very impressive, look at that, that's amazing, alright, let's do the other side with the brush and we'll see how that goes. Okay, I feel like the brush has put it on like a lot lighter. The sponge is like full coverage. The brush has put it on like a medium full coverage. I'm just going to see if I can build it. Like you can still see skin through it. Um, so maybe that's why she liked the brush because it's a little bit more natural. Well, not, not natural, it's, it's not a natural foundation, believe me, but a little more. Okay, definitely buildable. That's kind of took it up to that same level. I like both application methods. I think the sponge is a lot quicker. It's kind of, it goes on very, very easily. The brush, you have to work it in a little bit more. But with the brush, I suppose you can play around with the cover a little bit. You can make it a little bit softer. But I'm much happier with that color. That color is great. So like I said, that is the 45 light. And I am like, Number two, Luminous Silk. Um, I think I'm porcelain in the Too Faced Born This Way. So I'm pretty light. Usually I'm like one of the lightest colors. Okay, finish wise, I really like this foundation. It doesn't feel as heavy as you'd imagine. Like it doesn't feel, like you can feel it. And I can feel it starting to set on my forehead. Like you get that kind of tight kind of feeling but it doesn't feel dry like it doesn't feel like it's gonna be really dry and it's gonna dry my skin out like it's still got a little bit of like creaminess to it it looks amazing like that it's full coverage it's not cakey it's not sitting on any dry patches it's not kind of emphasizing my pores it's very kind of seamless yeah i really like that it was just just an issue with the color what i would advise if you're not 100% sure it is definitely get the color match because that's that, that was crazy <laughs> crazy crazy and it comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20 shades um, okay so like I said so far so good I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and see how it's looking and then I'll check in a couple of times throughout the day just to see how it's going. So right now it's 12.38, uh, that's like just after lunchtime. So we'll, I'll be back in about an hour after I finish the rest of my makeup and we'll see how it's looking. 
Okay, so just doing my first check-in. It is 5.50, so probably five hours since I put the makeup on and it has not moved a muscle. So the only thing I'm noticing is I'm a little bit shiny through the middle, but I think that's more the concealer than it is the foundation. The foundation where I've put it, it hasn't moved, like all around the jawline, all around here, like it's absolutely perfect. It's just, it's just a little bit here, here, and on my chin, but there's like a little bit of separation and a little bit of shine. But I do think that's the concealer. Um, like I said, I never set the foundation. I didn't use any kind of powders or anything. So this is it completely on its own. And so far, I am super impressed. I'm not having that horrible itchy feeling where I just want to take my makeup off. That's the feeling I normally get with matte foundations. I'm not having that. I'm like incredibly comfortable. Um, so like I said, it's been five hours since I put it on. And so far, I'm very, very happy. I'm going to check in again in a couple of hours before I take it off to go to bed and we'll see how it's going. I'm not going to be able to test it for 24 hours because I'm not staying awake till 12 o'clock tomorrow. I'm not going to do that. I'll be taking it off in a few hours. Um, but definitely give it a good test today. I've been running around, housework, editing videos, filming another video, all that kind of stuff. So I've definitely been busy and it's definitely holding up, but I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, so it is 8.34. So pretty much bang on eight hours since I put this foundation on. Um, so I really, really love it. The only thing I will say is I am pretty shiny. Like you can see all through here and the bronzer and stuff has kind of came off a little bit. It's still on, it hasn't separated, it hasn't smudged. It's just, I'm a little bit shiny. And I didn't set it with powder, so I think in future I would have to set it with powder. I think that was a risk I took. I think it's great for pretty much all skin types. I would probably say if you were super dry, you might find it a little bit dry. For me, being dehydrated combination, I really, really love it. It's been so comfortable to wear. I haven't really felt like I've been wearing a lot of makeup, um, which is surprising for a matte foundation, especially full coverage, because like the Double Wear Maximum Cover, that's the kind of foundation that you're very, very aware of. Whereas this one, I haven't had that feeling. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. Like I said, I'm just a little bit oily, but I think that's just because I didn't powder it. If I powdered it, I think it would be perfect. Really, really long lasting. It's just those little bits through the middle, like I said earlier, just from when I had the concealer, that bit's just a little bit melted and a little bit separated. But like I said, I think it's just the concealer. Overall, I'm incredibly happy with this foundation. I'm definitely glad that I went out and get, got a second color. Definitely worth it. I'll be using this foundation quite regularly, I like to think. Yeah, overall, very, very good. Lines around my eyes are a little bit kind of visible. I can kind of see them. The foundation's kind of settled in them a little bit around my nose here. Again, probably because I didn't set it, it's just melted into those areas a little bit, but nothing that can't be fixed. And like I said, if I'd used powder, it probably would be fine. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave any comments down below. If you've tried this foundation and you've had a different experience, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.